Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to your JavaScript tutorial series. This video, we're gonna be talking about this inside of arrow functions and how it's different than regular functions. So before we get started, which by the way, this video is gonna be freaking awesome. Be sure to check out our sponsor, the iPhone dinging noise. Please be sure to check out our sponsor, Dev Mountain. Are you looking for a JavaScript web development bootcamp? What about an iOS bootcamp? Dev Mountain offers classes online and in person with housing at no additional cost. Learn how to build real world applications and get a job in the industry through Dev Mountain's career centric program. Whether it's web development, iOS, user experience, or quality assurance, Dev Mountain has a class for you. Let them know I sent you their way and they'll give you $250 off the tuition. Link in the description. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a very, very simple arrow function, and we're going to create a really very simple normal function. So we'll just call it arrow. So we'll say let arrow, and we'll assign it an arrow function. Pretty much the most basic thing. All this is going to do is return this. You could also console log this inside the function if you'd prefer. Either way is going to work fine. We'll just have to console log the output of this function rather than having the console log on the inside. The end result is the same thing, it's just where you want to do the console logging. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to create a normal function, and all this will do is return this. So let's call this. We're gonna say arrow, and we're going to say normal. Now this is where we're going to put the console log instead of on the inside of the function. And do you know what this is going to give us in the console? Hopefully you know, hopefully you watched my video on the this keyword because I talked about all the different ways you can call functions and the values that's gonna show up here. And it is, drum roll, the window object. And it's the same for both of these. Now the thing with this inside of an arrow function is that it never changes based on how you call the function, which is actually very nice because it makes the function much more predictable. When working with normal functions, either function declarations or expressions, we have to worry about how the function is invoked. And as a result, we cannot always be assured that the output of the function or what the function does is the same. So we have to consider how the function might be used in various different contexts. With arrow functions, all we have to do is think about what the value of this is when it's created, and we can be assured that no matter how the arrow function is used, it's always going to have that value of this. So to show you guys this, what we're going to do is we're gonna create an object We'll just call it functions. And what we're going to do is we're going to put both of these functions in here. So it'll look something like this. We'll create two properties. One will be the arrow function and the other one will be the normal function. So this is another cool thing is that the properties can have the same names as the function and that's totally fine. You don't wanna put the parentheses because we're not invoking it here, we're just assigning it. So we can console log the functions object here and see what it gives us. You can see it's an object with two functions. We have the arrow function and the normal function. Now what we're going to do is we're going to invoke these as a method. And if you remember from the this video, when you invoke a function as a method, the value of this is the object itself. So it should show up as this. That is if we're working with a normal function, but you'll see the arrow functions are a little bit different. Oh. So let's start with the normal one. We'll say functions, normal like so, do a refresh, uh, I gotta output it, sorry. Now do a refresh, and look at that, we get the object itself, the functions object. But now let's do the arrow function. We're gonna do it up top, we're gonna say console log, we're gonna say functions.arrow. Now when we do a refresh, you can see it still shows up as the window object. So no matter how we call this arrow function, the value of this will always be the window object, because that's what it was when we created the function. So we created this function here and the value of this was the window object. So no matter whether we called it like this or as a method, we still get the window object in both cases. Now this can cause something very confusing. It's a, a gotcha that I'm going to have to call out in the next video. And I've fallen for this and I'm sure you will too if you don't pay attention. So please be sure to check out the next video because we're going to be talking about one thing you need to be aware of. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.